had been in a champion table now for about four years. And, and we have learned to trust one another. One of our pastors in particular, uh, he's, he came out and said, I have shared things in our table that I have never been able to share with anybody in my entire life. Right. Because he said, I finally feel that I have a group of men, some brothers, that, that we feel comfortable with, that we trust, that I feel like I can talk to about anything. And Robert, uh, the, the table, as you, you know, is that it is diverse. As pastors, the church impact us as men and as, and as husbands. And it's, it's amazing what coming to the, ch to the table does. And each week, we never know what the challenge is going to be that, that someone's dealing with. That's right. And it's, it's not always the, uh, 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 the man or the husband or the wife right. or whatever we're dealing with. Uh, this past week, we had a situation where the pastor, uh, one of the pastors had a church issue that had him so worked up, he said, I cannot wait until I get to the table. Was that pretty neat or what? I'll tell you, that, that shows just what it means to have someone that you know that you can talk to. Someone that you know is going to understand where you're coming from. Someone you know is not going to judge you or accuse you of having a lack of faith or give you some just little faith formula without really trying to understand where you're coming from, what you're feeling. And uh, when, when, when the, our brother, I won't name him, but when our, brother, <laughs> when our brother said that he was so upset over this thing, but knowing that Tuesday's coming, uh, I will be able to go sit down with brothers Amen. who understand me. I'll be able to share this. They won't judge me. They will support me. They will give me counsel if I ask for it. But above all, they'll pray with me and stand with me. He said immediately before Tuesday came for the meeting, <laughs> he was already feeling a relief from the pressure just knowing that that was available to him. So that's a, uh, as someone said, that's precious. Amen, yeah. amen. You know, the table, it covers so many different things. And in our table, Jerry, we have a, a, we have four basically different denominations represented there. Wow, that's so exciting, Paul. And you know, I was teaching this morning on Revelation. Amen. You know, the passion of Christ is his bride. Amen. And he wants his bride to be in unity. Oh, exactly. And he prayed for that. I mean, that yes. was one of his end time prayers in John yes. 17. And I, I can't tell you how excited I am about all pool pastors. I mean, yeah. since I've been connected with you guys, it, it's growing in my spirit because you see the need around the world yes. Yes. of accountability, responsibility, integrity. These things are foundational for blessing. That's right. And, and we just, you know, I, I taught last week Satan can only operate in deception and in, in hiddenness. When it's hidden. Right. When things are hidden. When they're exposed, he loses all Amen. authority. That's wow. And, and oh, what this does is it yes. exposes things in our life that we finally get to deal with somebody we trust. That's, that's right. right. You're right, right on. I'm sorry. No, no, I get excited. No, 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 no. I'm excited. This is because, you know, the, this is uh, a worldwide issue. You know, Satan. Oh, no question. Satan Even had, more overseas. I mean, integrity yeah. is a key to longevity. Yes. 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 When, the, when Satan said, what can we do to stop this? Well, one thing is if you develop different belief systems in the Word to create some, some differences, it can either be division or it can be strength to recognize that the hand's not the foot. We've talked about that before. Yeah. But also the family. My goodness, just yesterday, Jerry, I had, we had a contingency of, of three African women came to our office who were here for a pastor-wife conference from Africa, she heard about all pro pastors, they did, and came and said, we need this in Africa. Mm, yes. Our men need it, our pastors need it, our husbands need it, we need it. We have heard that it is bringing unity in the body. And we as pastors, and we as the church, are so fighting against one another. And as we know that the champion table when you bring these different denominational belief systems together to realize we all serve Jesus. Yeah. You may have black hair and I may not have any. And Look. you know we're closer than we realize. And I mean, he has a beard. In, in, yeah. in, in 1 Corinthians uh, 12, you know, he, he says we share one confession, Jesus is Lord. That's Amen. It. And you know that covers a lot of territory. Oh, right. Yes, it does. And when we can do something to bring the body together and men together and women with women together, 
to love one another and to trust one another and to hold each other accountable to raise us up to, to being holy. Absolutely. It can make a difference. Mm -hmm. you know, and let's talk a little bit about our, in our champion table, uh, Robert, the different denominations. Talk a little bit, if you would, about the different beliefs of each one. And I say that, the, the different doctrines and whether how it has made a difference in our champion table. Yeah, well, you know, you, you think you know what somebody believes because you have this idea and you haven't met them personally. Number one, you don't know their walk with Christ, which that's what we emphasize more than anything else, our personal walk with the Lord. And that's beyond denominational uh, foundations and persuasion. Mm -hmm. There are cardinal truths of Scripture we just can't compromise on. And we all know that and we appreciate that. But there's peripheral things that we, we don't compromise on, but we understand where the, we understand those differences and appreciate the fact that I don't have to, 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 to compromise any of my personal convictions or any of the cardinal truths of Scripture Amen. to meet with a man who's, who's a little different on certain issues. Mm -hmm. but, but on that major <laughs> issue that you mentioned, Jerry, that Jesus and him crucified and the Lord and the way to God, we, we, we found we agree on that. And I, I, it has helped me coming to the table to not be afraid mm -hmm. to interact with other people, afraid that I'm going to in some way be pressured to compromise or, or attempted to compromise or, or that they're going to somehow affect me in a negative way. But to know these are guys like me. We come from different backgrounds. We serve the same wonderful Lord, Master, and Savior. And uh, that's what I love about the table. I'm, I'm not afraid <laughs> anymore. I was a lone Amen. wolf for a long, long time long time uh, and it's not good for men to be alone <laughs> no and really well you know we always talk about God it was it was a team he said in the beginning yeah he said I created heaven and earth but it was the Holy Spirit the Father and the Son yeah. God's for teamwork he's Absolutely. been a team all along Absolutely. the Trinity is a yes. team really yes. yes yeah I mean every and then Jesus I like Mark what is it three where it went up the mountain himself alone and, and, and called the twelve yeah and he said the first reason he called him he says that he might be with him not to yes. send him out, not to train him. He just wanted to be with him. Wow. Isn't that's that true. That's Jesus, true. you know, Jesus loves to be with us. That's yeah. right. And we yeah. need to be with each other. You that's know, right. Jesus shows up when you show up. Hallelujah. Yes. That's right. You that's know right. what I mean? Absolutely. When four people get together, Jesus shows up and four people. There I am in the midst of them. There I am in the midst of them. And, and, and things can happen that just wouldn't happen otherwise. Especially when truth comes out and issues of the heart that have been covered that's for years, years. Yes. you know, exposed. Take you to another level, man. Hello. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> what, what's really interesting and cool about what's happening in our champion table too, Jerry, is this, is that we, one of the pastors, and I'm going to stay away from using the actual denominational yeah, names sure, of sure, the sure. different denominations, but one of the pastors said, we have got to have a joint revival mm. where yeah. we have uh, each pastor will come. And, and, and so we've had two joint revivals wow. and i want to ask robert to tell about those joint revivals and the comments of this last one we had of the pastor there and uh just i want to hear your words on that share with, with uh, yeah. everybody yeah to be able to minister in, in a church that i thought i might not be welcome in they may not receive me uh, because of the denominational barriers and structures that have been in place for a long long time and i i want to make it very very clear there are some walls that need to be strengthened because the faith needs to be kept uh, as it is. But there are there are areas that we can we can uh, come together for a common goal and a common purpose, and and to be able to be invited to speak in another denomination that is so different from where my background, and uh, and I might add that. We know we all, we all three know where we're all kind of coming from. There's a fourth guy. I, I've never asked him. We were talking the other day. I really don't know what denomination. Oh, really? Yeah, what you been I mean, we've been four together years. four years, and I don't know. If we, it doesn't you know, really matter. We, we, we still haven't wow. figured it out. We're not even trying to figure it out. But one thing we do know, we know that he loves Christ. Amen. He believes the Bible to be the inspired in their word of God. And, and, and we love him, and he loves us, and we're really relating to one another. And in this meeting, you know, this pastor that allowed us all to come, he said, I want another one. I want it to go seven days instead of four days. I want to have you guys back. Our, our congregation is open and welcoming to you. Uh, and, and so that fear 
that someone's going to come in and, mm. and, and do something wrong or inordinate. When they find out you love the Lord and your goal is to preach Christ and Him crucified and to see people come to know Him more intimately and others mm. that don't know Him come to know Him, uh, that fear is gone. And you can, uh, you can tr the trust we've built with each other Amen. as men has superseded the distrust <laughs> that you know, no. denominational structure has, has created. It was yeah. it was interesting. I I'll say this on the air. I hesitantly, but I want everybody to know. Is this pastor that we went to this church after it was over? He said, "You know, I don't know whether I will ever invite a pastor come speak from my own denomination again." <laughs> that's that's weird. Wow, that's that was true. really weird. But, uh, wow. uh, but it was it was tremendous. And yes. you know, Jerry, I I generally get to to be the last speaker when we have these. Uh, revivals we've done done two of them yeah. and the spirit of god told me to uh invite anyone who wanted the touch of god that night to be anointed and have their hand, hands laid on them to come to, uh, to raise their hand ask them to raise their hand if you if you want to touch a god tonight i don't think that probably never happened in that church before uh, yeah. and and so you know how many people raise their hand Everybody, everybody, everybody. And, and awesome. you know, the Holy Spirit, God just told me, He said, tell them right now, line up in the middle. And you know what they did? They lined up in the middle, yeah. uh, right in the middle of the aisle. And, uh, and, and I said, and then God was just telling me, directing me what to do. And, I, and the pastor of the church was there and, and one of the other pastors was there. And I said, God, said, you two guys are supposed to stand in the front and lay hands on every single one of them, wow, come down yeah. and pray for a blessing and, and anointing of the Holy Spirit upon them right now. And that's it. And, yeah. you know, it's just amazing what God does when you let Him go. Was there anything different out of doctrine of that church? Not a thing. Right. Nobody got upset. Not that's a right. thing. It that's was right. the power of God yeah. because the brothers love one another. Yes. And we understand when God moves and you love one another, you, you're in agreement. And that's what happens at the table. Yeah. Is that you come together and, and Jerry, you may speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. That may be a part of, sure. of your doctrine, belief yeah. system. That's a good Baptist. And and <laughs> and mine and and mine may be that, that you know it's never been a part of me, but man, I feed the poor and I and, and I visit the, the, the yes. prisons and I do all these other things that God has said that's what I do mm. you know, and, 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 and Robert over here he may have a go overseas uh, missions that is just so powerful I mean you know there are different sure. areas that we I don't want to call specializing but where God puts it on our hearts yeah. you know what I've learned is this that God will meet you where you are and he won't force you beyond yeah. that yeah you know, but what we're seeing is that we're with the champion table, we're able to peer into areas to see what God is doing in places that I have never looked before because I grew up in a denomination of seven generations in one denomination. Wow. And you know what? Mm. That's all I thought the Christian world was. <laughs> That's, That's all I knew. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I was, I was in church before I was conceived. <laughs> That's true. And as I was being in carried in the I womb, know. as I was in the womb, I was in church. There I mean, are. I was. There. I spoke my first time in church. I was three years old. Wow. wow. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's all I knew. Yeah. Was 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 that? But what I learned is this: is that if I want to learn more, I've got to go. See, people say they put God in a box. Nobody puts mm, God yeah. in a box. They put themselves in a box. <laughs> you, you can't put God yeah, in a box. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. And so we have to get out, Jerry. If, if I want to learn what Jerry Brandt's doing, yeah. I don't ask Robert. Right. Mm -hmm. Ask me. I, I yeah. come to Jerry. And I don't go, go to some book to see this is what they believe. Did you know that my denomination has a... a, 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 a how, what it believes, you know, articles of, of what we yeah. believe. Yeah. But it don't all apply to me. Mm. <laughs> and it doesn't all apply to me because that's not how I believe. Yeah. It, it's, and I have found that many, many people today, including pastors, they are a part of something, 
because they have been a part of it, mm -hmm. or it's what brought them in. And that doesn't mean to leave where you are. I'm not professing to yeah. leave where you are. What I'm professing is that we seek the, the, the God of the Word, yeah. and, and, and we bring what God brings into us to where we are. Yeah. Exactly. We don't leave where we are. We bring Him into where we are. And the champion table gives us courage. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's what it does. It yeah. gives us courage. Absolutely. And it teaches us how to talk to the brothers mm. who are different than us. Mm. You, you, you know what, what I'm saying, Chris? I mean, Jerry, if, 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 if I don't know how to talk to a... Uh, uh, if, if I don't know how to talk to a Muslim, because mm -hmm. I've never talked to a Muslim, but, but now I come over here and I make friends with this Muslim and I say, I learn how to talk to them. I can go talk to more Muslims. Mm, yeah. You know, if I talk to this guy that speaks in tongues that I thought was was man, not of God, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. And, and I find <laughs> out, I find out that that Jerry he loves, loves Jesus. Yeah. Then I can go talk to some of these Pentecostal brothers out here yeah. that, and, and go, my goodness, it it's okay if somebody gets saved and goes to their church. Yeah. They're not going to hell. Yeah, right. <laughs> You, you know, I mean, I'm just yeah. being real. Yeah. And the champion table, it brings us together in a way that I can see that, that Robert's okay. Mm -hmm. And Robert can say, Paul's okay. Yeah. And what I've, what I've learned is this. One of the many things I've learned is this, is that when I thought that I had all the answers, I learned that I didn't. Mm. Yeah. But as God showed me and I would say matured me, mm -hmm. I had to have the maturity to meet my brothers where they were. Yeah. Without criticism, without judgment, without without going in my heart, boy, they are they are way out there. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are where God if I'm all that if I'm all that good, yes. if I'm all you know, all in that right place, then I have the humbleness, the humility, and the love to love them wherever they are. Yeah. And if, and if my cup of coffee is the best tasting cup of coffee yeah. and I'm drinking it and I'm, I'm smacking my lips and it's so good, maybe Jerry will want to taste it someday. Yeah. Yeah. But it may be that, man, Jerry's stuff's pretty good looking over there. I, I may want to... I, I might drink. Blood of Jesus. I want to drink. I want to drink a hit. Yeah. 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 And before long, we may be tasting a little bit of one yeah. another's yeah. and seeing that we're part of one body. Yes. But that doesn't change you from being the right arm no. and you the left. No, it does not. It, 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 so you don't spend any of the time at these champion tables trying to persuade the other person to be like yourself. No. Never. That's awesome. No, no Never. we're not. That's tremendous. That, that's yeah. not what is it. We found out that the kingdom of God is bigger than our organizations and denominations. They're, mm -hmm. they're part and they're necessary to do a lot of the work within the kingdom. Uh, I believe they're necessary. But the thing is, they can become divisive in the sense that they keep us from a common goal and that is to to keep the great commission yes. to reach the world for jesus christ to love one another yeah. you mentioned in your yeah. teaching today i was yeah. privileged to be here and hear it you're talking about pre i mean most wow. people talking from the book of revelation not necessarily yeah. emphasizing the love about. like you did it's the whole message is love i'm here saying this is about the book of revelation and he's he's not talking so much about the antichrist he's talking about <laughs> jesus christ it's a revelation yeah. of jesus, oh, jesus. Christ. Yeah. i say this is refreshing yeah. Yeah. this is good yeah. well that's yeah, yeah it's exciting you know uh you got. You better be careful, Paul, because you're going to revival is going to break out. Because Psalms 122 says how good um, and how pleasant yeah. it is when the brethren dwell together in unity. He said it's Amen. like the oil poured on the on, and that's a priestly ministry. Amen. And it goes spirit. down through his beard, through his garment. <laughs> and, and, and what's the end of that? How, what does that end at? There's a powerful saying at the end. You know, yeah. there dwells the blessing. That's well, right. There, yeah. there dwells the blessing. That's right. There will I command the and blessing. And how the Lord, you know, command the blessing. Command Ooh, that's even stronger yeah, I, than I don't well. know if it's worded that it way. It is. I believe it is command. There I command the blessing. Oh. Yeah. He commands a blessing on a city every time the champion tables get together. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, Think about that. Well, that's incredible. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Did you hear Jesus that? commands yeah. a blessing on the city every time four of you get together. Because yeah. it's not happening. Exactly. It's not exactly. happening. Maybe on a golf course once in a while, but you don't tear talk yeah. about anything no. but golf. No. no. You know. That's right. That's right. Wow. That's okay. awesome. How much time do we have left? We have got seven minutes. <laughs> All right. That's a perfect number. Okay. You know, you know I, uh, that, that just thrills me what you just said because 
bringing the pastors together is yeah. bringing the church together. It is. And, and I hate to say this, but it has been over and over in my spirit for about two months now, is my body still broken? Mm -hmm. This is my body which is broken for you, is it? Yeah. What is often said in the, in the communion, mm -hmm. yeah. but I, it just kind of my body's still broken. My body's still broken, but it is all pro pastors. It is champion tables. It is our mission and our ministry to bring the body together. Mm -hmm. How can we achieve? How can we achieve the mission God has given you, the end time harvest to reach the lost, if the body is not That's right. brought together? Yes. And I pray. I, I pray. That pastors everywhere will say, I want to start a champion table. I want yes, to. What, yes, what is a champion table? How do we get it started? What must we do? Well, mm. I want us to talk a little bit about that today, Jerry. we got a little bit of time. Well, can I focus on the camera just a minute? Yes, you can. I just want to tell everybody associated with action evangelism around the world, please listen to me. Listen to me and all our people that have na our national directors that listen to our radio station and I want, I'm going to commission you right now in the name of Jesus to go on this all pro pastors, is it dot org? Dot org. Okay. All pro pastors, all A-L-P-R-O pastors dot org website and immediately begin to sign up for champion tables in your country. I'm talking to Amen. India here and to Africa. I'm talking to the Philippines. Uh, come on, pastors, let's get on the button here and do this. It'll make a difference in your nation. Yes. It, it really will. Well, I just had to put that plug Amen. in here. And, and, uh, well, so. you, to me, it's it's critical for the body. It is. Yeah. I believe that every school ought to be teaching on accountability and the importance of accountability Absolutely. and building relationships because that is foundational to, to surviving in the ministry mm -hmm. and growing the ministry and reaching a tribe, reaching a community, reaching a village. Right. You know, where if pastors are, are holding each other's arms up and behind each other, yeah. and, and it's so simple, yet it's so hard. The simplest things, it seems like salvation is so simple when you talk about it. It's a free gift. Then why isn't everybody getting it? Because yeah. the yeah. enemy is out there deceiving and, and causing havoc where people aren't getting saved. Yeah. And they're not getting yeah, saved. Well, the champion exactly. table is the same way. Yeah. It is so easy. It requires a pastor to reach out to three other pastors yeah. that they may not know right. and say, I want to become the man God created me to be so I can become the pastor He called me to be. Yes. That's, that's the real issue. If I am a man that is holy, if I am a man that is honoring God with my wife, if I am a, a man who my children grow up and say, I want to be like dad. Yeah. I want to be like my father yeah. because he's like Jesus. A man that when they, he falls, he gets some. Yes, but true. the thing about the champion table, Jerry, is that when I fall, my champion table picks me up. There you go. They, are, they don't run from me and kick me. Yeah. They pick me up. And there are times that I fall that nobody knows but my champion table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the beauty of it. How does the champion table get started? They can go right on the right website. Go to the website. On it, it says the champion table. and says how to start a table. In fact, it looks something like okay, this. There you go, right there. Right here. It's right on the website, just like this. When you go to the champion table, and it is real, real simple to do. A champion table can be as strong as you want it to be, or it can be as mellow as you want it to be. Yeah. The thing is, it takes time to yes. develop trust. That's it. That's it, it that's just that's takes it. time. Yes. But sometimes you get into it and you never know. That first meeting, there may be somebody that says, I have been waiting for this. Yeah. No. I have been like waiting. Like you said, uh, Pastor. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so I would like to ask about my brother Robert here again. To, to say a final word about the champion table. And maybe and, close in prayer. And to close in prayer. All right. Uh, you know, you may be a little afraid to take that step. Uh, I'm not saying it's absolutely essential for God to use you and bless you. God used and blessed me. But I was missing something that God wanted me to have in my life. It has broadened my perspective of the kingdom. I see it as much larger than I originally saw it. And I would encourage you to give it a try. You're not obligated. You don't sign a contract. And, and see if God will hook you up with another uh, brothers around you uh, that will be there for you, will listen to you, pray for you, Amen. and and, uh, and love you back. 
uh, just like you love them and to be an example of God's kingdom Amen. to those people around you. you got 30 seconds. Quick praises. Father, I pray for the furthering of your yes, kingdom yes, today. Jesus. Lord, not just the furthering of our personal ambitions, Lord, or uh, any of our uh, denominational goals, except it be in line with the furthering of your kingdom. And Lord, we pray today that your kingdom will be furthered as we come together and yield ourselves as instruments in your hand. Not divided, Lord, mm. but unified in purpose oh, to be a part of this great harvest that you are, are so involved in around the world, Amen. right here, right now. We are in the kingdom for Amen. such a time as this. Oh, in yes. Jesus' name, amen.